Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain spherical coordinate system. Before I start with my explanation, let me share key aspects of this video. In this video, first I'll explain basics of spherical coordinate system. After that, I'll explain you conversion of spherical coordinate into Cartesian coordinate and Cartesian coordinate into spherical coordinate and that I'll explain by examples. So let us start this video with basics of spherical coordinate system. So first of all, you need to understand what are the coordinates which is there with spherical coordinate system. Those coordinates are R, theta and phi. To understand these coordinates, let us consider one point in three dimensions. So here let us consider we have one point that is having spherical coordinates. Those are r, theta and phi. I have already explained Cartesian coordinate system. With Cartesian coordinate, we have coordinates x, y and z. And in spherical coordinate, r, theta and phi. First of all, we need to understand meaning of r, theta and phi. See, r is radius of this point with respect to origin. So here we have origin. So r is radius of this point with respect to origin. So r is radius of this point with respect to origin. See this theta that is angle of this line with respect to z axis. So if you observe we have z axis over here. So this theta that is angle of this line with respect to z axis right and this phi that is angle in xy plane with respect to x axis. To get angle in xy plane, we need to take trajectory on xy plane. So, this point that I am tracing on xy plane from top view, you can observe. So, here on xy plane, that point lies over here. And if you connect line from center to this point, then that line will make angle phi with respect to x axis right so if you observe here we have xy plane and that you can have it by observing it from top view right so here we will be having one line that you can view it from top view and this line that will be making angle phi over here right and here this point that is having x coordinate over here and y coordinate over here right so you can observe here we have x y and z coordinate and r is radius of this point with respect to origin this theta that is angle of line with respect to z axis and this phi that is angle in xy plane with respect to x axis. So that is how these coordinates are there. Right. Now I'll explain you conversion process. So first of all you need to understand how we can convert this xyz into r theta and phi. So let us consider we have been given with r theta phi and we wanted to have Cartesian coordinate. So here, see Cartesian coordinate that one should know with this point on z axis over here, we have z coordinate on x axis over here, we have x coordinate and on y axis over here, we have y coordinate. If you want z coordinate, then you will have to see this triangle. You can observe this triangle. Now with this triangle, the diagonal is r. So what is this z? This z will be r cos theta as angle over here is theta. Right. So for this triangle, diagonal is radius r. So z will be r cos theta. Right. So let me note it down over here. This dimension will be r cos theta. And if you want this dimension, then this dimension that will be r sin theta. 
so what is this r sin theta r sin theta that is this line length right so this line length that is r sin theta that one should know so z is how much z is r cos theta let me note it down over here z is r cos theta now we wanted to have x and y so what is x see we have this triangle right so with this triangle over here angle is phi so this x will be this diagonal into cos phi right so this diagonal is r sin theta so x will be r sin theta into cos phi right and what is this y y will be this diagonal into sine of this angle so y will be r sin theta sin y right so that is how we can have x y z coordinate from r theta phi coordinate right so let us solve one problem over here so we have been given with r theta and phi and we wanted to have x y z so if you want x then what is x x is r sin theta cos phi right i have explained that x is r sin theta cos phi so here r is how much r is 4 sin theta is 30 and phi is 60 over here sin 30 is half cos 60 is also half so half into half into 4 that is 1 you want y then that is r sin theta sin phi right i have explained that over here r sin theta sin phi so that will be 4 into sin of 30 into sin of 60 as per this data sin 30 is half sin 60 is root 3 by 2 into 4 that will be root 3 only right and z is r cos theta z is r cos theta so you will be having 4 into cos of 30 cos of 30 is how much it is root 3 by 2 so you will be having 2 root 3 over here right so now we have x y z from r theta phi coordinate now we need to have a conversion of cartesian coordinate into spherical coordinate so let me explain the process of calculation first so here if you observe this coordinates right r theta phi so r is radius right so what is that radius that radius is square root of x component square plus y component square plus z component square right now if you carefully observe here see we have this line that is r sin theta and this angle is phi and if you observe here we have x coordinate and y coordinate right so from this triangle what you can say from this triangle this angle phi this angle phi that is tan inverse opposite by adjacent opposite is y and adjacent is x so tan inverse y by x right so phi is 10 inverse y by x now if you want this angle theta right if you want this angle theta then you will have to see this triangle right now in this triangle in this triangle what is this dimension this dimension is r sin theta but if you practically observe that is square root of x square plus y square so this dimension r sin theta that is square root of x square plus y square right and this dimension is z so if you observe this triangle then in this triangle this angle is theta right so tan theta that is opposite by adjacent opposite is square root of x square plus y square and adjacent is z right so theta is tan inverse square root of x square plus y square divided by z right that is how we can have 
r theta and phi from x y and z let me solve one problem so here we have cartesian coordinate 1 1 2 and we need to have r theta and phi so simply r is how much r is square root of x component square plus y component square plus z component square so that is 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square square root of this so that is square root of 6 if you want angle phi then angle phi that is 10 inverse y by x angle phi that is 10 inverse y by x 10 inverse y is 1 x is 1 so 1 by 1 10 inverse 1 that is 45 degree and if you want angle theta then that is 10 inverse square root of x square plus y square divided by z so here we have x and y that is 1 so square root of 1 square plus 1 square that is square root of 2 divided by z that is 2 so this is 10 inverse 1 by root 2 and if you solve this in calculator you will be getting 35 degree so now we have spherical coordinates that is square root of 6 theta is 35 degree and phi is 45 degree that is how we can have those spherical coordinate from cartesian coordinate i hope you have understood this if you have any query then just post that in comment section definitely i'll try to help you out for same thank you so much for watching this video